The pandemic has turned down the volume on the music scene here and all across the country. And like so many other industries, a lot of people have to make shifts in their thinking or how they do business. Joining us now with more on that is uh, 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 Terriona Tank Ball from Tank and the Bangas. Uh, Tank, it's good to, to, to see you. Do we see you yet? There you are. <laughs> um, and, and uh, you know, you, you have had such a great career. You were on such a rise and all of a sudden this pandemic hit. I mean, how do you, how do you go ahead from that to where you are now? Well, it has been an amazing ride. We were literally on tour with the Revivalist right here from New Orleans, and we were right in the thick of tour and had to be taken off of tour. I think it's that moment when you truly realize, oh, this is happening to everyone. This is affecting everyone. You know, um, normally the music industry isn't affected by, by other things going on, but that's when you knew that it was absolutely real. Um, Tank and the Bangas, even though we're not touring right now, we stay pretty busy, and... Um, We've been recording a lot more than usual and, you know, um, just just staying pretty busy. It's, it's really tour that has stopped and we really miss our fans. That, that's you, what it's been like. For us. And when you talk to the people in the music industry, I mean, you know, how are they coping with this? Because, like, I, I know I've talked to some bands who are just, I mean, they're just kind of like off the rails right now. It's really hard for a lot of bands because this is the way that everybody truly I mean, this is how we work, you know, this is, and especially if you're not deemed essential, how can you survive in this? You know, um, everybody's going live and that can really only last for so long. You want to touch your fans. You want to be near them. This is really the way that we survive. And when you're not making no way for artists to survive, it, it can get really, it can get really hard out there. So a lot of our, a lot of our friends in, in the music world, we stay communicating a lot and encouraging each other a lot through a lot of, I'm in a lot of text messages where you just, you just praying for each other, honestly. Yeah, and, and we were down in Cuba in January with a trombone shorty, a bunch of other great musicians. I mean, and I was just telling Sheba, when you were on stage there, uh, it was like you were a rock star. Well, you are a rock star, but I mean, uh, you know, I mean, the Cubans just, just loved your music. Well, to me, Cuba is kind of like a cousin of New Orleans. I never knew that until I went there. The homes, the people, the music, the way we walked down the street and had a second line just in the middle of just someone's neighborhood. You know, it was it was absolutely amazing, breathtaking. And I just knew that I was in a place that New Orleans was influenced by or was influenced by New Orleans. So it was it was it was amazing. Yeah. I definitely felt it. I look forward to going back. And while you and other musicians are, are suffering right now because of the pandemic, you are still trying to help uh, people. You, you recently did a, a, um, a GoFundMe page for a, a, a woman to help her out. Yes, and that was probably just one of the most rewarding things that I've ever done. You know, I always doing poetry in the classroom or singing for, uh, for people. You know, it, we just do a lot of even Zooms for for kids in school, you know, just a lot of little things to help out. So this one felt just so incredibly personal yeah. though. And, uh, and the fact that we reached the goal in just a couple of days, it was truly outstanding. It showed the love of my community, my musicians, friends, who's also going through so much with their families, still donated uh, to me to help save this home. Um, it, it's just, I don't know, it was just, it was just the sweetest thing. Well, I, 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 know, I, I know you reached your goal. Can people still donate? People can definitely still donate, especially since GoFundMe is such a helpful platform. But in order for GoFundMe to continue going on, you have to give them, you know, a percentage. So we didn't reach the exact goal since GoFundMe takes a percentage. So if anybody wants to help me reach that goal of like like five hundred dollars, that would even out everything and it could really be great. And of course, when anybody gets in their home, I mean, of course, they need groceries. So, yeah. Please All right. Thank, thank you donate. very much. Thank Good you. seeing you.